In this video, we're going to talk about percent composition. This is one of our early terms under the heading of compound stoichiometry. The, that is the study of chemistry that deals with the proportions and the ratios of the elements uh, that make up compounds. So if you want to, hit pause, take a look and read this, uh, this comic strip here for a good chuckle. Percent composition is a very general term that a that we've uh, made a very specific application for in chemistry, again referring to the elements that make up a compound. But you can take percent composition of anything uh, as is parodied here in this, in this uh, cartoon. Well, let's start out with the definition. Um, the first bullet here is a book definition of percent composition. The percentage of a formula mass represented by each element. So for example, uh, for water, we have a formula of H2O. The formula mass is the same thing as what we call a molar mass or uh, atomic weight. Some of you, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, so if we use the periodic table, we know that there are two hydrogens that weigh one each, and there's one oxygen that weighs 16. So the formula mass for water is 18.0 units. AMUs or grams per mole. Grams per mole is the one I prefer as we're doing compound stoic. <clears throat> so it's the percentage of that formula mass for water like this 18 represented by each element. So the hydrogen is going to be part of that 18 and then the oxygen is going to make up part of that 18. Percent composition is a mass percent. Very simply though, and this is what you'll hear me say a lot in class, it is a part over a whole. Very simple. Percent composition could be anything. It could be the percentage of blue marbles in a bag. It can be the percent of dogs uh, or uh, Dalmatians out of all the dogs in the world. It's just a part over the whole. So here's some examples. Website visits. If you take all the website visits in the, at this point in time, 48% of them are of organic searches. So out of all of them, 48% are due to these. 16% are due to referrals. So out of all website visits, referrals cause 16% of them. A more sciencey example is the composition of our atmosphere. They represent it in the pie chart here. Nitrogen makes up about 79% or so of all the particles of gas in the atmosphere, so it's a very large chunk. Oxygen makes up only about 20%. So this is a composition of our atmosphere expressed in percents, and then we graphically represent it with a pie chart, for example. And then specifically applied to what we're doing right now, if we look at a compound such as sugar, and sugar is C12H22O11, that's sucrose specifically, that whole compound is going to have a formula mass, and in this case it is 342 grams per mole. So carbon is going to contribute about 42% of that 342 grams of mass. That's the 12 carbon atoms. The oxygen, because oxygen weighs more than carbon, is going to constitute 52% of the mass of that sugar, of any sugar sample. 342 grams, 52% of it is because the oxygen is there. Let's do some a concept check first. There are nine girls and 16 boys in Mr. Taylor's chemistry class. What is the percent composition by gender? So out of 25, 64% are boys, 36% are girls. That's 16 over 25 and 9 over 25.
All right, unfortunately, now we have to do a real-world chemistry example. So we have the compound lead 2 chromate, and I want to find the percent composition of it. Well, I need a periodic table for this, so I'll go to lead, and I need to find out the mass, the molar mass of lead. So there are, there are, there is one lead atom, and from the periodic table, it has a mass of 207 Point two. I want to forego units for now. The next element is chromium. There will be two chromium atoms in this, and each chromium atom is 52. And finally, oxygen. There will be eight of them, and they weigh 16 each. So we add all these together, and we get 439.2. And that's grams per mole. Again, I'm just ignoring units. Now, we need to find each part to put over this hole. The first part is going to be lead. Lead constitutes 207.2. That number comes from here over the total, 439.2. That number comes from here. We'll turn this into a percent, and you may do that in any way that you've learned to do percents from your math class. And that will come out to be 47.2%. What a terrible percent sign. Percent. And that's just for the lead. We can do the same thing for the chromium. We need to, actually. Now, the chromium is going to, con is going to um, contribute a different part to this hole. The chromium part from here is 2 times 52 which is 104 out of the 439.2. So we'll convert that into a percent and it comes out to be 23.7 percent. Finally the oxygen Oxygen is going to contribute of the 8 times 16, which is 128, out of the 439.2. We'll turn that into a percent. And it comes out to be 29.1%. So this will be the percent composition uh, for lead to chromate. It's kind of odd. Some of you might think that because there are so many more oxygen atoms that it would make up the largest percent of this compound. Well, it, it doesn't because this is a mass percent. If this were a percent of atoms, it would. But this is a percent of the mass. And the reason lead has such a high percent by mass is, look at your periodic table, find it, it's down at the bottom. Lead is huge. It is massive, and therefore it's going to contribute more to the mass. The last example I want to work is going to be similar, but it's for a hydrate. And when we do hydrates, typically what we want to do is we want to find the exact percent of just the water in the hydrate. Otherwise the procedure is exactly the same. We need to find that formula mass. So we'll start with iron and then we'll also have to do it for carbon and for nitrogen. But this time I'm going to leave water as one entity even though it is a compound. So the iron is from the periodic table 55.8. There are three carbons that are 12 each three nitrogens that are 14 each, and there are going to be three waters that we, we calculated earlier from the uh, second slide. Water is 18. All that adds up to 187.8. Grams per mole. Now, if I'm just looking for the water, I don't have to go and do the percent composition for each of the other elements. This time, I'm just going to do the water 
So for water, its part is the 3 times 18, which is 54 over 187.8. We'll turn it into a percent. And I calculated it to be 28.8% for the water. Now I want you to try one on your own. Do the work. Instead of doing all three elements though, I want you to just find the percent composition for the potassium in this compound. Alright, your answer should have come out to be 44.9%. If you have any questions about this, let me know and uh, we'll do some more practicing class.